So open up your egg file and then one of the patterns. You can either find your own or use the one I'm giving you. You need to copy the pattern, edit copy, close that file, then go edit, paste. Don't forget to press enter or return and then new layer. All right, next we are going to get the scale tool. Drag anywhere to scale it. Then use the middle square to move it. And then get the rotate button, which is next to the scale tool, and rotate it so it's vertical. Scale it down to make it about the size of the egg. It doesn't need to be exactly, but approximately the size of the egg. Then when you're done, click on the layer. All right, next we need to put the layer on something so you can see through it. I chose overlay, and I can see my pattern through the egg. It looks a lot better that way. And then go to filter, distort, oops, and spherize. Then it kind of punches it out and makes it look like it's going around the egg. Just leave the default settings. Now go to the egg layer and get the magic wand tool and set the threshold to approximately 27. All right, and then click on the egg while holding the shift key to try to select most of the egg. Just keep clicking the shift, or I cl keep clicking with the um, magic wand tool on the egg until most of it's selected while holding the shift key. If you accidentally click too many, you can just do control Z. And then go to select invert, and then edit, cut. Oh, make sure that you're on the right layer though. So go back to the pattern layer, and then do cut. All right, and that deletes everything that's on the outside of the egg. And then you can select none. Now we're going to open the next pattern that we're gonna use on the other egg. And you're gonna do a copy. And then you can just delete that layer or that file and then go to paste. And don't forget to press enter and new layer. Then you're gonna get the scale tool again and drag it anywhere to make it smaller. Use the middle square to move things around. We're going to distort this one a little bit different. If you wanna do it the same way you did the other one, you can, but I'm gonna show you another way. What you can do is go to filter, distort, and curve bend. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it's another way I want to show you. All right, so you're going to get this window, and you'll see there's an upper and a lower. We're on the upper curve first, and you just drag this line up to kind of be egg-shaped. It does not need to be exact whatsoever because you're going to erase the excess portion later. Then go to the lower and pull this line down to kind of make a curvy bottom. and then press OK. And as you can see, it doesn't fit the egg, but that's okay. You're gonna use the scale tool to get it close. And hold the shift key, and you can make the scale like not proportional. That way you can squish just one side, not the whole thing. And so you'll bring it out to be approximately the same. All right, then let's put this on multiply. You can choose any of those modes, but I think multiply looks okay. Go to your egg layer now, and we're gonna do the same thing we did before, where we get the magic wand tool, holding the shift key, and clicking until, most of the, until all of the egg is selected. If you make a mistake, just do control Z if you select too much. So just keep shift clicking with the magic wand tool all inside the egg. And then go to select invert because we're going to get the outside. Make sure you're on the right layer this time. After you select the egg, go back to your pattern layer. And instead of doing cut, you can also just get erase too. So I'm going to get a bigger brush because that one was too small. 
So if you want to do just edit cut, you can. I just want to show you different ways of doing things. So you can just use the eraser to get the excess um, image off there. All right, then go to select none. And I want to switch my mode to overlay. I just think it looks a little bit better that way. You can choose whichever you want. Okay, on the next egg, what we're going to do is actually just paint it with a paintbrush. So go on the egg layer, get your magic wand, and just shift click all along this egg until you get all the yellow and all the shadows and highlights selected. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so I can see it better since I'm going to hand paint this. So you can go to View, Zoom, 200 and then use the little sliders on the bottom and on the side to move the egg into focus. Okay, we can see it a lot better now, so keep shift-clicking with the magic wand tool and try to get all the egg. It doesn't really need to be perfect, just as long as you get most of it. Alright, so once you have the egg selected, make sure you had that on 27, by the way, that's kind of important. Now we want to make a new layer that we're going to paint on. So you can name that whatever you want, but this is what we're going to just use the brush tool now and we're going to just like decorate this just like you were actually hand painting an egg. So you can get different colors, um, get the paint brush, make sure that you have a good size, you don't want it to be too big or too small. But really anything you want to do is fine for this hand painting. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and let you watch me do a so-so job painting the egg. Get different colors. You can either do all your eggs this way or you can do the patterns. I don't really care which way you want to decorate them. If you like to hand paint them, you can hand paint them. If you just want to do textures, you can do textures. All right, so we're going to zoom back out so we can see all of our eggs. Beautiful. Now you just need to type your name on the bottom right corner. And that's all you have to do for this project. Like I said, you can do all three of these different like I did, or you can use the same method to do all three of your eggs. So then go to save. This is like a Photoshop file, XCF. You don't want to turn that one in, but that's you need to save that so you can edit it. The one you want to turn in, you want to export, export, and then choose PNG or JPEG. Either one of those, we can um, grade those. So make sure that you do PNG or JPEG for your file submission. Leave all that default and say export, and that's the one you want to turn in. 